In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on relationship between zeros and coefficient of quadratic polynomial. And we've got a problem here which says, uh, find a quadratic polynomial, each with the given numbers is a sum and product of its zeros respectively. So what it says is, uh, it's given a set of numbers here, right? Uh, it's got 1 by 4, comma, minus 1, root 2, comma, 1 by 3, 0, comma, root 5. Well, it says, uh, now the given numbers is the sum and the product of its zeros respectively. Now, 1 by 4 is the sum of the zeros and minus 1 is the product of its zeros. And similarly, this is another one more set. Root 2 is the sum of the zeros and 1 by 3 is the product of the zeros of that equation that we are supposed to find. So, similarly this. So, we need to use this and find a quadratic polynomial each. So, let's start off with this 1 by 4 comma minus 1. So, all that we have to do is we have this uh, expression f of x. The equation is given by the constant times x squared minus sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros times x plus product of the zeros. Now, where k is a constant. So now uh, we just have to, the, the, the first one, let's name this 1 and let's name this 2 and let's name this 3. So the first one is f of x equals k times x squared minus the sum of the zeros is 1 by 4x and plus the product of the zeros is uh, negative 1. So, so this is the required quadratic equation, k times x squared minus 1 by 4x minus 1. Now, what happens is, k is a constant, that is a, right? So, when you multiply k inside, now it's going to become kx squared minus, now this is sum of the zeros. Sum of the zero is nothing but minus b by a. So, that a is nothing but k. So, the k and k is going to get cancelled. So, we don't have to like give the eventual quadratic polynomial. But just follow this expression and just write the thing. So, you're eventually going to get that quadratic equation. So, please remember that this k is the a, so don't worry about the a in the fractions here. When you multiply this, the a and the a gets cancelled, or that the, the k and the k is going to get cancelled, because k is the a here, right? So, this is the first one, and the second one is uh, f of x will be equal to k times x squared minus sum of the zeros is root 2 times x, and product of the zeros is 1 by 3, so that is plus 1 by 3. So, this is the required quadratic polynomial for this set of numbers and then we've got the third one which is f of x equals k times x squared minus 0x so that's going to be 0 and plus root 5 so this is going to be k times x squared plus root 5 so all right here it is it was a pretty simple thing this eventually but it's going to maybe get you a mark or so not more than that it's going to be a very short answer kind of a question so this ends these set of problems as well as this video and i think this is the end of problems based on relationship between zeros and coefficients of quadratic polynomial and in the forthcoming videos let us look into relationship between zeros and coefficient of cubic polynomials